what looks like a simple pocket change can be a hidden treasure. Take for example this 1963 D. Lincoln scent, which recently fetched over $350, including buyer's fee, at a great collections auction. So, what makes this seemingly ordinary scent so valuable? It's a rare error scent, known in U.S. numismatics as a double dye obverse with an FS-101 attribution. To spot this error variety, you'll need a strong magnifying glass. According to John A. Wexler, a noticeable spread towards the south is evident on the numeral 3 of the date. This error scent was graded as Mint State 65 Red by PCGS, underscoring its exceptional quality. And as mentioned earlier, it sold for over $350 at Great Collections Auction. Subscribe to our channel to stay tuned to CoinAz and don't forget to activate the notification button. The 1976 S Silver Eisenhower dollar is a remarkable piece of numismatic history. According to PCGS, this coin is a unique type featuring the bicentennial design and composed mostly of silver, unlike other bicentennial coins made of clad. It bears the S mint mark and represents the last year the Eisenhower dollar was struck, as well as the final large dollar coin. While examples in circulated grades up to MS-65 are very common, finding this coin in grades MS-66 to MS-67 is somewhat tougher, though still available in the tens of thousands. This particular bicentennial dollar is stunning, boldly struck, and pristine, with a faint ice blue tint enhancing its brilliant surfaces. The 1976S in 40% silver is relatively available in high grade, with nearly 1,500 pieces certified at PCGS and MS-68. However, only nine of these coins have the coveted plus designation, and just two pieces are finer. A condition rarity in Mint State 68 plus, one of these exceptional coins sold for over $2,700 at Heritage Auctions. The 1969D half dollar is almost a mirror image of the 1968D edition in terms of availability. Certified gems are common through MS-65, with enough MS-66 examples to satisfy most advanced collectors. For series specialists, there are a few proof-like PL coins to pique interest. Despite the large mintage and numerous dyes required, there are very few known varieties. Among these, double die reverses are the most common, but they are relatively minor. Notably, the obverse master die for this year features a final numeral that is cut more deeply than the 196, similar to the 1968D half dollar, though it's a bit less noticeable. A beautifully toned MS67 gem of the 1969D half dollar recently sold for $1,560 on June 16th, 2024 at Heritage Auctions. Stay tuned to our channel for more fascinating numismatic insights, and don't forget to activate the notification button to stay updated. The 2023S American Women Quarter featuring Edith Kanakaole is a standout piece in the American Women Quarters program. This program honors trailblazing American women from diverse backgrounds who have made significant contributions in various fields. Edith Kanakaole, a revered Hawaiian cultural icon, is celebrated for her dedication to preserving and promoting native Hawaiian culture, language, and traditions. The quarter beautifully commemorates her legacy and the vital importance of indigenous cultural preservation. This particular coin, graded NGC MS69, signifies a near-perfect mint state condition. The Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC, grading indicates that the coin has only minor imperfections, barely visible under magnification, making it highly desirable for collectors. The first day of issue designation further enhances its value and appeal, indicating that it was among the first coins released to the public on the initial day of issuance. This stunning specimen was sold for $169 at Great Collections Auction. Stay tuned to our channel for more fascinating numismatic insights, and don't forget to activate the notification button to stay updated. The 1946 P. Roosevelt dime, being the first emission of this series, was widely hoarded by both collectors and the general public. As a result, mint state examples are plentiful across all grades up to MS-67. However, most of these coins fall short of the full torch FT designation, as Philadelphia mint coins from the 1940s often lack sharp details. Despite this, collectors will find it relatively easy to secure a gem. There are numerous double die varieties known for both the obverse and reverse of this coin. 
The better of these varieties are attributed by NGC under its Variety Plus service. Two obverse hubs were used this year to produce dyes, distinguishable by the designer's initials, JS. The first hub shows these initials as blurred and indistinct, though the rarity difference between these hub varieties is not significant enough to garner much interest. Uh, this particular 1946 Roosevelt dime was graded Mint State 68 Plus by NGC and sold for $630 on June 16, 2024. Attention Morgan Dollar Collectors, a rare 1878 Morgan Silver Dollar, known as the Seven Tail Feathers variety with the reverse of 1879, recently fetched a substantial sum at Heritage Auctions. This coin was graded Mint State 65 Plus Deep Mirror Proof Like DMPL by PCGS and endorsed by CASC. The 1878 Seven Tail Feathers Morgan Dollar with the reverse of 1879 is significantly scarcer in deep mirror proof-like quality than its counterpart with the reverse of 1878. While it is rare in MS64 DMPL, gem examples are even more elusive. This particular coin with its plus designation is one of only three coins in this grade with deep mirror fields, and none are finer. Beautifully preserved, this coin features frosty devices free of bothersome abrasions and glimmering fields with only the faintest marks visible under magnification. Most of the coin is brilliantly shiny with a touch of golden warmth around the outer edges. It was sold for an impressive $22,800 on June 13th, 2024. Stay tuned to our channel for more fascinating numismatic insights and don't forget to activate the notification button to stay updated. An incredible feat for collectors, a 2005 Lincoln cent recently sold for an astonishing amount. In 2005, the U.S. Mint introduced special mint sets featuring satin finish examples of every circulating coin. It seems the mint focused more on producing high-quality satin finish coins than regular circulation coins, leading to poorer quality in the latter. As a result, even finding 2005 Lincoln cents in MS65 or MS66 condition is challenging. In MS67, these coins are quite scarce with only a few hundred examples discovered despite extensive searching. In MS68, they are truly rare with fewer than a dozen known and none finer. This superb gem featuring iridescent toning and excellent eye appeal was graded Mint State 68 plus red and sold for over $1,500 at a great collections auction. Stay tuned to our channel for more fascinating numismatic insights and don't forget to activate the notification button to stay updated. Thank you for joining us in exploring these seven rare U.S. coins that are worth serious money. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and share your thoughts with us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting numismatic discoveries. Stay tuned for our next episode, and happy collecting!